to the ultimate round of the Motorsport UK British Rallycross Championship. Five Nations Trophy is held at Linton Hill in Kent. It's time for the round 10 final for the supercars in the wet at night. Patrick O'Donovan lines this one up on pole position with Mikko Ikkonen and Sebastian Eriksson on the front row. Row two is Janko Vaist and Ollie O'Donovan and then row three is Janos Vaist, Steve Hill and Jake Harris. No titles to be decided here today. That'll wait for the round 11 final tomorrow but the revs rise, the anti-lag is on. Round 10 final for the supercars. Green light and blast off. Good start from POD from pole position. Look at Sebastian Eriksson though in the Ford Focus. He gets a great drag down towards the first corner. Ikkonen's going to get squeezed out in the middle here as Seb goes for the wide outside line there biffs into the back of Patrick that's going to cost him time and is it going to, going to go through yes he is it's going to Constantino up behind as Ollie gets into the back of Sebastian as well thankfully they all emerge facing in the right direction as we ride on board here with Ollie over the jump and a face full of dirt awaits the veteran as they very gingerly make their way through the left-hander of the Devil's Elbow. Nose tail running in the mid-pack. Not such a problem, though, for Patrick O'Donovan. The reigning champion leads the way commandingly from Ikkenen. Then we're going to be two-by-two two here in the background because Ollie has sent it up the inside of Sebastian Eriksson. Side-by-side, side they go on the exit of the North Bend. Is O'Donovan going to go joker at the end of this lap and get into some clear air? Yes, he does. Very sensible, wise old head there. But Eriksson goes on the normal lap. It looks like also that Yanko Vaste went into the joker that time around as well as Jake Harris uh, emerges just behind Steve Hill there who has now made his joker at the end of the first lap there we see them going two by two almost through Talladega slightly wide there for Steve Hill as he gets an armful of understeer just about manages to keep it on the straight and narrow but problems there as well for what looks like Yanko faced in the uh, Renault Megane hit the tyre barrier, thankfully managed to keep it facing in the right direction. His father, uh, Janos, also racing in this one, the 54-year-old former Hungarian rally champion in the second of the Renault Megans. Anyway, no such problems for the race leader, POD, as he continues in his ascension through the field as Ikkenen goes into the Joker in his Hyundai i20 and emerges very nicely into clear air. That just takes that bit of pressure off the back of POD the race leader there is Seb Erickson sliding his way through Talladega nicely done for him as here is Jake Harris making his joker then on board we ride and you can see just the lack of visibility the windscreen wipers clearing it but almost driving using the brake lights of the car in front as a reference point here is Janos face in the uh, Renault Megane he is sitting in about fifth place at the moment sixth place or so and is doing a good job while we look at Patrick O'Donovan then going into his joker in towards the right then the left then the right amazing amount of speed you can pick up off the exit of that one especially considering how fast these supercars accelerate not that Patrick had to particularly worry about anything uh, behind at this point because he's been driving absolutely superlatively all day and you can see these drone shots here as POD makes his way through the right hander and then the left and on to the jump just how much he's pushing on and looking quite in command and quite comfortable. It's when a driver makes it look as easy as Patrick is able to do. He really is a bit of an old head on young shoulders. Quite a career I'm sure he has got in the pipeline and very much looking forward to seeing what his plans are going to be for 2024, especially if he's able to continue in the same form that he has shown throughout the 2023 campaign, not only here but also racing in Europe as well. Anyway, there is Sebastian Eriksson doing a really good job in the ageing Ford Focus, sitting in third position at the moment. Into the Joker he goes. Where is he going to emerge in relation to Oli O'Donovan? I think he's been able to gap him quite comfortably. Indeed he has, and that's really nice there for the Swede. Next target just in front of him is Mikko Ikkenen, but I think he's a little bit too little too late as we now want the final lap. You can see the wider, higher line there being favoured by Sebastian Eriksson as he comes over the jump. We've also had a retirement for this one. Unfortunately, it is Janos face. His car stricken on the outside there of the Devil's Elbow. You can see the yellow flag is waving, so no overtaking through to that part of the circuit. Not that this man has to worry about it in particular. What a superlative drive once again from the youngster of Patrick O'Donovan, who has led this one very commandingly indeed and comes round through Paddock Bend for the final time to win the Round 10 final for the supercars at night in the wet here at Lyndon Hill. What a drive from Patrick O'Donovan. 
one hand now on the trophy in 2023. Mikko Ikkonen comes over the line in second place with Sebastian Eriksson in third position in the Ford Focus. It is going to be the fourth place for Ollie O'Donovan and then Yanko Vaist coming across the timing line in fifth position ahead of Steve Hill in sixth place in the Mitsubishi Evo 10. The field will be completed by Jake Harris in the Mini Countryman supercar as well as he'll comomes across the line to take the checkered flag with a very well-deserved sixth place finish. And then we wait for Jake Harris to take the checkered flag in his Mini Countryman. There he comes across the timing line. But POD then, Patrick O'Donovan takes the win in the round 10 final for the supercars here at Linton Hill. Can he repeat that feat tomorrow? The fireworks go off. It's an early celebration for POD, but he's got one hand on the trophy for 2023. Can he do it though here tomorrow and be crowned as a double British Rallycross champion at Linton Hill?